Today is November 18th, 2023, and we are at the win. Tonight is the Grand Prix race for Formula One in Las Vegas. The time is 1 p.m. We are getting our day started off here in the hotel room. We have a beautiful view of the golf course, the convention center, and the valley in the distance. And most importantly, we can see the beautiful Las Vegas Sphere, which is right next to part of the racetrack. That part of the racetrack is actually where our seats are for the race tonight. So before we leave the room and start exploring, I just want to give a little bit of backstory on Formula One in Vegas. So for those who don't know, Formula One has basically been the complete talk of the town for the last six months or so because they've been doing so much to prepare for this race. They've been doing so much construction, building and tearing things down and paving roads. And it's been tough as a local getting to and from the strip because of Formula One and all the construction. But I will say I'm very happy that it's finally all done and we're here and the race will be going on tonight. However, they have had practice runs and qualifying runs the past couple nights. We did attend one of those. They were supposed to race for an hour, but eight minutes and change in, one of the race car drivers actually hit like a pothole or something like that, and it just destroyed his car. And they actually had to end the race right then and there. It's been a weird beginning to Formula One, but I hope tonight everything is smooth sailing because I really want to see a fun, race and I want it to be a successful event here. <laughs> So the last few days being around the win and like the strip area hasn't really been too packed. I was saying that it was the calm before the storm and right now it's buzzing. It is so, so packed. So the win has a few pop-up stores. One of them is right ahead of us, the McLaren store. It's a long line for another pop-up. Takashi Murakami pop-up. He's an artist and has a lot of cool merchandise, clothing, things like that. There's also a pop-up for a cognac drink, right? Yeah, yep. And so this one is in partnership with Lewis Hamilton. For those who don't know, Lewis Hamilton, I believe is literally the most famous race car driver in the world, I think. And he's one of the top form of the one drivers as well. He's not in first overall in the Formula One standings, but he is one of the most popular guys. Yeah. That's true, right? That's true, yeah. Just left Encore. We are on the strip now. We're gonna walk up and down and show you guys the craziness of the strip. So we're in front of the win on the corner of this sidewalk here, and this is the first area where the racetrack begins like on the strip. So you can see behind me over here, it's completely like gated up there. You can drive on that road right now, but they close it later in the day and they seal it off and it's only for the F1 cars. So another thing, every single cross bridge on the strip has been completely transformed as well. It feels like we're in a cage. And they purposefully kind of block off the views here. You see? All blocked off. You're not allowed to actually like be on the bridges and watch the race. You just got to keep it moving. <laughs> Thoughts so far about F1 and the city and everything? Um, I think it's... Honestly, I'm so impressed that they're able to turn the track back into a road every single day. Like I thought once they built the track, it was just gonna be, the roads were gonna be closed for like a week or something, you know? You got the normal side, and you got the F1 side. <laughs> Alright, so right in front of the Cosmo here, we have an awesome view of the track. Ooh. 
So it's almost 5 p.m. They're starting to fully shut down the road to normal drivers. They're starting to move different barriers and things into place, blocking off the road, and soon it will be an official racetrack. I was just thinking that I feel like F1 couldn't have picked a better place to have a race in November. The weather today was absolutely perfect, and outside is not cold, but it's also not hot. It's like that perfect weather, you know? Yeah. <laughs> for what? <laughs> You're ready for what? F1, obviously. That's what this whole video is about. <laughs> we just finished up dinner at SW. Amazing steakhouse at the Wynn. Unreal. But uh, we're walking over to our seats now. So as you can see, over here, these roads are still drivable, okay? But the road is blocked off starting right here. However, the racetrack begins all the way down there. Formula One is over. I can't believe that it's over, to be honest with you. It just seems like it was in the making for so, 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 so long, and then boom, done. <laughs> just like those cars was and by, zoom, it's over. <laughs> Overall, uh, Vegas and Formula One did a great job. I think the event was awesome. It definitely transformed me. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on Formula One. The only things I would say, you know, this took so much to put together, and there was only one race, today's race, that really kind of counted for anything. I know they had qualifying races and practice races the last few nights, but I would have liked to see more, maybe, you know, two or three nights of races that really truly matter. And um, yeah, just more, I just feel like it just went by. It was like, boom, just done, you know, gone. <laughs> Tell me what you think about Formula One. Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully you enjoyed Formula One, whether you watched it in Vegas or on TV or whatever. And before I go, last thing, I want to thank the win 
for hosting me and Greta. They always hook it up for me. If it wasn't for the win, I would not have been able to make this video because I don't have a bajillion dollars to spend on room and the race and this and that. So thank you, Win. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Goodbye. <laughs>